in a remote refugee camp in western Thailand. And with no electricity, phone coverage, or access to the internet, an unlikely digital revolution is changing lives. Ban Mai Nai Soi Camp. More than 10,000 Myanmar refugees live here, some for a generation. Soon, they'll be sharing technology used at London's Heathrow Airport. The technology is biometrics. The goal is to capture something vital to these people, a confirmed identity. Doug Green is UNHCR's chief information officer. He's here to oversee the deployment of the new system. This exercise in Thailand is critical for UNHCR. This is the first major rollout of the biometric systems. We will verify and enroll 120,000 refugees. First, the team verifies the completeness of a refugee's documents. Then they add biometric information. Fingerprints. Iris scans. Photos. All attached to a name, a date of birth. Everything is uploaded onto UNHCR's global database. Now every refugee has a record of his or her identity forever. Sam Jeffries is a biometrics expert. Biometrics will help refugees in the future as it ensures that once they've been through the system and have enrolled with their fingerprints and their irises, we always know who they are. If they lose their documentation with a global database of 10 million records, within 10 seconds we can assure someone's identity and their fingerprints are eyes alone. There were many hurdles on the way to this digital revolution, including getting to the camp. The advanced team had to transform a dusty football pitch into a high-tech enrollment center within 24 hours. That meant bringing in tents, generators for electricity, a satellite terminal to connect to the outside world. They worked around the clock. They had to make the system work in one of the world's most remote areas. More than 100 UNHCR staff and Thai government partners were trained to do verification and capture biometrics. They honed their skills in simulations with the authorities. Our coordination has been on three fronts. The original verification team and Thai operation, matching it with our biometrics team, but also matching it with those who know the community. So you can schedule the right number of people from the sections of the camp for the right days. Although there were numerous problems, the implementation was a success. The team biometrically enrolled 3,000 refugees in 10 hours. It took just a week to enroll the entire camp, 10,000 refugees. One of the daunting challenges I have is right now my team is in the jungles of Thailand. In four weeks we'll be in the deserts of Chad. So we have to take the lessons learned that we've collected from Thailand, apply them quickly, and hit the ground in Chad, where we're going to enroll 450,000 refugees over a nine-month period. Information will be gathered in nine camps in Thailand along the 2,400-kilometer-long border with Myanmar. This effort will enable us to use donor dollars more efficiently. Most importantly, however, we will be able to provide protection and assistance to refugees who need it the most. This is just the beginning. UNHCR plans to capture refugees' biometrics in many countries this year, in all its operations by 2018. The task is enormous, and the need great. There are more refugees and displaced people now than at any time since the Second World War. To help them, to know who they are, to give them support now and in the future, UNHCR must use the most modern tools available.